you've used Parcel before, then you've no doubt noticed the subtle animations present on their dashboard. One in particular that's always interested me is the smooth animation you notice when hovering from one tab to another. And that's all we'll be building in this video using Next, Tailwind and Framework Motion, but keep in mind that you can use any frameworks of choice. Now, one thing I like to do when approaching any problem is having a mental model of how a possible solution will work. So let's visualize it. Let's start with a plain canvas. Then we can add in a nav bar similar to what Vassel has on their dashboard. For argument's sake, let's assume that this is all the code we'd need to render the nav bar. Next, we'd need a way to store the references to all the tabs we've just rendered. This can be an array of said refs with each tab adding its reference. With that, we'd now need a way to determine which tab is being hovered on. Again, this can be achieved through a state variable that will store the index of the hover tab, which we then use to get the set tab's ref from the array. This will give us access to the get bounding client rect method. And of course, for this to work, each button needs to have a pointer enter event listener to set the index. Finally, we then add a conditionally rendered indicator and use the information from the hover rect to determine its position and dimensions. This has been shown in a simplified manner here, but we'll see exactly how this happens in the code later on. And that's all we'd hypothetically need. If we hover the cursor on one of our tabs now, this will trigger the pointer enter listener, which will set the index state variable, thus making the active tab defined and consecutively the active rect, causing the indicator to then get rendered. And this process will repeat whenever we hover over any of the tabs. It's all pretty amazing if you think about how fast this happens. That should give you a pretty good idea of how we're going to implement this, but talk is cheap, so let's get into the code. Here I have a very simple Next.js client component, which right now just renders some tabs as shown. It doesn't really do much at the moment, no animations yet, so let's fix that. Following the steps from our earlier visualization, we know that the first thing we need to do is to store some references to the tabs, and we'll do that using the useState hook and make sure that each element adds in its ref. Then, naturally, the next step will be to add in the logic to get the hover tab, if any. Let's add in the state variables and the event listener to do that as well. With this, we have all the information we need to render out our indicator. Let's add it in with a red color to make it more visible. But if we go to the browser, if we save this and head over to the browser, you'll notice we don't see anything yet. And this is because we don't have any information about the height and width of this indicator. We can fix that real quick by using the hover tab information to gain access to properties such as the top, the left, the width, and the height. And once we do that and save that and head to the browser, you'll see that the indicator does in fact show. But we have a few problems. First of all, if we hover away from this, you'll notice that the indicator is still visible and we can fix that really simply by adding a mouse leave event listener. And when that happens, then set the hovered index to null, therefore getting rid of the indicator. If we go back now, hover, leave, you'll notice, works now. The other problem is that, of course, this isn't animated, which is the whole point of this video. To do that, you'll need to import a few things from Framer Motion. You can import the animate presence component and the motion function. Then we're going to convert this button into a motion dot button. Still hasn't done anything. If we head back to the browser, you'll notice it's still very jittery, no animations yet. But here's the here's where the power of frame of motion comes in. Instead of having this as the default style, we can have this as the initial properties and set an opacity of zero at the beginning of the animation. So I didn't mean to cut that. Let me add that back in. Paste that in. And then when we animate, let's change the opacity property to one. Finally, when it exits again, we want the opacity to go back to zero. If we save that and head back to the browser now, you'll notice it's much, much smoother. When we move from one tab to another, when we hover from one tab to another, that is, then the indicator follows us and that's a pretty smooth animation. You can go ahead and change this color to something less shouting for now, create 200. Now you can see that looks quite similar to what Vassel has on their dashboard. Awesome. Final thing would be to add in the animate presence component. Animate presence, add that in. And the animation is looking really nice. Now, of course, you can customize this if you wanted using the transition property. I'm going to leave it at that, but you can add in whatever properties you wanted. For example, if you wanted to make the duration much shorter, 
and snap here which is what the vassal one looks like we can add that around one one five one four that works if we go back you'll see it's much snappier i'll leave that up to you to customize but yeah this is pretty much it everything you'd need to make animated tabs